Welcome back to the Great American Outdoorsman. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to gut a deer, also known as field dressing a deer. The first thing that you wanna do is free up the colon. Now, there's no real good way to say this, but you're basically just gonna cut all the way around the butt, just underneath the skin, until you can see the colon. Now, you want to free that up pretty deep down in there, about two to three inches. But what you're gonna see is there's some muscles connecting down in there, but try not to cut through the colon. Otherwise, some of the bad stuff in there's gonna leak out. If it gets on your meat, it's gonna make it taste gross, and whatever meat that it gets on, you'll have to get rid of. But if you free this colon up now, whenever you go to pull the guts out, this thing is just gonna come out, and it's gonna make life a lot easier. You can see here that I'm starting to get it worked out. I'm getting all those little small muscles and just little connections cut out of there. That's what you wanna do. It should be very free and the colon should be able to move around. The next thing that you wanna do is make an incision starting at the bottom of the sternum. You'll be able to feel where it ends because it's gonna to start to get soft. So make an incision all the way up to the top of the sternum, unless you're gonna mount a deer. If you're gonna mount it, maybe you don't do that. And then you're gonna go underneath the skin, but just underneath the skin. Do not go very deep on this cut. And you're gonna go all the way down and marry that cut up wherever you cleared that colon up at. Now, when you get down here to any genitalia, you can see here that this one still has um, some, some milk and a milk sac there. Whatever's there, whether it's a male or female, just cut away all that genitalia. If there's a milk sac, cut that away as well. Now that you've got the genitalia gone, you're gonna come up to where that sternum starts again, and you're gonna cut just underneath the fascia. This is a small layer of muscle, and when you cut through that, you're gonna start to see the gut start to come out. The stomach will start to protrude a little bit. The intestines will start to protrude. You do not wanna cut very deep on this. Be extra careful here and do not cut that stomach open because if you do, it is gonna smell terrible. Not to mention, if the contents of the stomach get on any of the meat, then that meat will also be no good. So go nice and slow, just barely underneath that tuft of skin right there, and go all the way down to the tailbone. Once you get to the tailbone, you're gonna actually cut on the left and the right side of that tailbone through the meat. And this is gonna open up the legs for you. It's gonna make things a lot easier so that you just have more room to work. Once you've got that completely free, go ahead and grab your hatchet. And what you're gonna do here is just hatch it through the entire sternum. You may have to take your knife and cut through a little bit of the meat first, just to open it up where you can see the sternum. You could also use a bone saw for this if you wanted to. The further that you open up the sternum, the easier it's gonna to be to get your knife down in there to cut the esophagus. And that's what you need to do next. So you're gonna see the esophagus going up through the neck. You're just gonna grab it in one hand, give it a pull, and then cut with the other. Once you cut it, you should feel everything start to get nice and loose and free up in there. 
Now that you've got the sternum free, you're gonna cut through the diaphragm. You'll see the meat on the left and right side that is connecting to the rib cage, and it's separating the stomach and then the lungs and the heart. So once you cut through that, it's really gonna be super easy just to push everything out. If there's some connections down there uh, at the spine that you wanna cut, you can cut those too, but everything should start to pull out pretty easily. When you get down here close to the pelvic area, you may have to take your knife to cut a couple of pieces if they get in your way. If you're having a hard time pushing it out, it shouldn't be too hard. So if you need to make some cuts, make some cuts. But the goal is that it all slides out real easy. At this point, you're gonna to start to pull it back towards you a little bit, and what you're gonna feel is that colon start to come out, and there's the colon right there, and that's why we free that up first. Now it's time to grab your hatchet again. You could also use a bone saw for this. I just use a hatchet because it's a little bit faster. But what you're gonna do is remove that entire pelvic bone. Once the pelvic bone is fully removed, you can go back through with your knife and just kind of clean it up, removing anything extra that's there. You really want to open this up as much as you can because it's going to let it cool down. Right there where the hams meet, it's going to get really hot in there. Even as I'm doing this, I can feel the heat coming up and hitting me in the face. And after that, you're just going to lift it up, let the blood come out, and then give it a little shake and you're done. As always, if you found this video informative, like and subscribe to our channels and we'll see y'all next time.